Hi, I'm Neil Strickland, CEO of GrowthOracle.com, How'sMyBusinessDoing.com, and NeilStrickland.com. For anyone that does not know me yet, I'm a management expert who has developed a range of automated business assessment tools, particularly for business consultants or advisors, as well as for small and medium business owners. This video examines how company culture impacts business consulting assignments. Company culture comes in many different flavours. For this reason, business consultants need to have awareness of the flavours on offer before commencing each assignment. Why is this, you might ask? The answer is that the company culture will actually determine if your assignment will be a success or not. Here are some of the broad categories of culture you will often be exposed to. Firstly, there's empowerment culture. This cultural variation operates on the assumption that every employee is well motivated, instinctively knows what to do, and is happy to take responsibility and to make decisions without fear of making mistakes that might have career implications for them. The next one is micromanagement. This type of company culture assumes that employees need to be closely supervised to ensure that they do their job properly. Next comes groupthink. This culture is a really strange one, and it's one I have often seen in the banking industry in particular, with disastrous results. It is based on consensus, and everyone is expected to fit in with the cultural norm of the organisation. Next comes the process culture. This culture is particularly strong in the pharmaceuticals industry, where well-defined processes are the norm. There are written standards and procedures for almost every task, and these must be observed by all employees. Then there comes the team culture. This type of culture is all about mutual support and collaboration. It has a strong people focus and it seeks to create happy and well-motivated employees that will often stay with the business for a long time. The next one is customer driven. The customer is always king in this environment. The entire organisation is driven by the need for customers to have an extraordinary experience. And finally there's the gambler. This is another strange cultural environment to work in, wherein the CEO or top team is often willing to bet the house on a new play. Click on the link on your screen now to read the full blog article on this topic and to gain some additional insights into the characteristics of the different organisation cultures. Why not also subscribe to the blog so that you can automatically receive free weekly tips and updates from me on issues affecting business consultants, advisors and coaches. Every subscriber will get a free copy of my ebook about how to carry out a health check on a client's business.